Hi guys and welcome to my twelfth uh, uh, Excel beginner tutorial and uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to reference uh, different sheets and different workbooks uh, in your formulas so um, this is probably going to be quite a quick one again but the first thing I want to do is just insert a new worksheet um, and I'm going to call this, I'm going to rename them all so this one can be table this one can be data and this can be tidied and I can't spell tidies data now essentially all I'm going to do is just copy this table um, and put it over here um, and I'm not actually going to tidy it I'm just going to move it really um, but what the hell is 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 it's just teaching you so um basically what you need to do when referencing another sheet is type the sheet name then an followed by an exclamation mark um and then the cell number so we'll put a2 and then there you have it it draws through from this sheet the same information. Now if we copy this formula down then we notice that eventually it's trying to find information in a cell that's blank and so it assumes that the value is zero because a blank cell in Excel um, stands for zero. Uh, so let's get rid of those ones, we don't want those ones. Um, and then let's copy these across and if you copy entire columns all at once then it's exactly the same as if you were copying uh, just one across um, but it just copies all of them so there we've got it and all of the um, all of the formulas again because we haven't put percentage uh, dollar signs in them are going to stay exactly the same what you'll notice though is that the formats haven't come through so we'll format this column to a date, uh, we'll format this column to a time, and we'll format this column to currency. Um, so there you have it, really simple. Um, that's how you copy through from another sheet. Um, and you can do um, whatever you want with it. So you could just have a total sheet. So let's put uh, total data. Um, that's probably not how you spell totaled but um, and then this will just give you the totals so equals counter um, let's go back into here and count all of the ones in column A um, as you might notice what I've just done is rather than writing out data exclamation mark I've just gone into the sheet I've selected the column um, and that's all um, uh, rather than typing it out myself. If I was going to be typing it out myself then it's literally just the same thing so data exclamation mark a colon a um, and I haven't used a colon a yet I don't think um, or if I have uh, this is just selecting an entire column um, so we've taken out the numbers if you put numbers in it then that will give you from row 2 to row 3 but we don't want to do that we just want to count all of uh, this first column. Now you'll notice that it has included the header at the top which we don't want it to do. So let's just go counter minus one and then I'll get rid of the header and let's drag this across. Um, age we don't want to be count, we want to be sum and we'll get rid of the minus one and same with money spent um, and let's say date of sale uh, we want to be uh, minimum date of sale so that will show us our oldest sale um, and format that as a date again um, and let's say we want to see the uh, average time um, so let's go data exclamation mark column E and that will give us the average time 
Let's switch that to an actual time value. Um, and there you go. So that's just how you reference another sh sheet. If you wanted to reference another workbook entirely, so let's create a new workbook, uh, completely different, separate thing, then um, the quickest way to do it is just put equals, go into your workbook, and click on the cell, and then enter. And then that draws it in for you. Um, the other alternative is when you're typing it, is you write equals, and then um, apostrophe, open square bracket, the name of the sheet, make sure you put the dot .xls, close bracket, the name of the uh, sheet, the, the sheet tab that you're looking for, exclamation mark, and then the cell reference that you're looking for. Um, and make sure that you put the second apostrophe in. And the apostrophe encloses the workbook and the sheet name. Um, enter and that's copied through nicely. And we can copy those down and we can copy them across and then you can see it's just brought through all the information again. This however is not a good practice and is generally going to cause you more problems than good. Um, as you can imagine this spreadsheet will get closed down, this spreadsheet will then lose its links and won't work anymore um, and even if you save this one somewhere and it will come up with an option for you to update your links but generally someone's going to move it around or rename it and then all your links are going to not work and you've got to go back through and you've got to fix them all um, and it's just more trouble than it's worth so anytime you can avoid using using this do because um, it's going to cause you more harm than good in the long run um, let's get rid of that one for now um, and that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.